Hi, Aya. Hi, Rania. How are you? I'm good. What about you? I'm fine. Thank you. Rania, let's do some practices. Yay! Let's read the text. Grandma is telling her son about her life in the past. In the old times, life used to be very simple, but different from the way in which we live nowadays. I used to live in a farmhouse with my big family. My dad used to raise animals like chickens, cows, geese and sheep. I used to help him in feeding the pets. My sister and I used to play hopscotch and skipping rope. But my brother used to play marbles and hide and seek. My dad used to buy us clothes once a year. My mother used to wear traditional clothes like kayak and jebba. We used to listen to radio because we didn't used to have television. We didn't used to go to school, but we used to learn at mosque. Nowadays, life is easier than before. You are so lucky, my dear son. Task 1. I read the text and answer these questions. 1. Where did Grandma used to live? Grandma used to live in a farmhouse. 2. Who or what do the bold words in the text refer to? Hmm, we have two bold words in the text. Which and I. Well done! Which refer to the light in old times? I refer to Grandma. 3. Suggest a title to the text. Hmm. How about this? Life, life in the old times. B. I write true or false and correct the right one. Her family used to watch television. Balls! Her family used to listen to the radio because they didn't used to have television. They used to learn at mosque. True! Good! Well done! C. I find in the text Synonym and opposite. Parent. Well done. Family. Twelve months. Year. Death. Alive. Modern. Traditional. Task 2. I rewrite these sentences using used to. 1. My grandpa drove a car. Drove is the verb drive in the past tense. So the answer is my grandpa used to drive a car. Well done. 2. I went to primary school. Went is the verb go in the past. The answer is I used to go to primary school. B. I reorder these words to make coherent sentences. 
one games did question mark play what children use to hmm what games did children use to play question mark two a his person cool cousin full stop is a cool person is his cousin full stop three than life before full stop is easier life is easier than before see I cross the silent letter which her feeding listen the answer is the T in listen word as the T is not pronounced task 2 write an email about yourself hello I hope you are well my name is Aya. I am 10 years old. I live in France. I am French. I like drawing, reading a book and helping my mum in the kitchen. I play football and do some swimming classes at the weekend. I don't like volleyball and basketball. I'm inviting you here to come over and show you more about my life. I am looking forward for your email. Thank you. Let's read the text. In the past, the way people lived was very different from the way we live nowadays. In the old times, people usually used to live in a simple house with less electric appliances and most of the chores were done by hand. But now there are more developed items. People can use washing machines, microwaves, and even robots. 100 years ago, people used to dress up in simple ways. They were only formal clothes. For example, in Algeria, women used to wear El Hayek and men used to wear Bonos or Keshabia. But today, both of them wear fashionable clothes. People used to, to consume fresh, natural and homemade healthy food. Today, they eat junk and fast food like burgers and pizzas. Ways of entertainment changed a lot. Children used to play games such as rug dolls, skipping rope, marbles and high density. Nowadays they play chess, monopoly, scrabble, video games, and smart phone games. Task 1. I read the text and fill in the gaps. Title. Hmm. We can see on top of the text the title. The title is Past versus Present Lifestyle. Source. We can see underneath the text, there is the website. Type of document. An email? Hmm, no, I don't think so. Press article? No, not as well. Web article? Yes, it should be a web article. Well done! Type of the text 
Hmm. As you can see, the text shows the difference between the past and the present lifestyle. So it should be descriptive because it shows the difference between the past and the present lifestyle. B. I read the text and answer the following question. Where did people used to live in the past? Well, we can see that in the text, people used to live in simple houses. Did women used to wear stylish clothes in the past? Oh no, women used to wear formal clothes in the past. What do people eat today? I can see in the text, today they eat junk and fast food like burgers and pizza. See, I find in the text words or phrases that are closest in meaning to the following. Today, let's look at the text. I can see the words nowadays in the text. So, it, so nowadays is the synonym of today. Stylish. Let's look at the text again. I can see in the text, fashionable is the synonym of stylish. Thank you, Aya. Now we are looking for opposite word. Unhealthy. Hmm. I can see two words. Junk and healthy. They are both opposite to unhealthy. Well done. Same. Let's look at the text. Hmm. I can see different is the opposite to same. Yes, well done. Task two. I pick out from the text four verbs describing past actions then completed the following table. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. Hmm, let's do some revision. We have two different verbs. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs end with an ed. Irregular verbs change. So we have to learn them by heart. Let's find the regular verb in the text. Let's use the text. Regular verb is a verb ending with ed. So I can see the verb used And change. And let's find irregular verb. Let's see the text again. I can see there is two. Okay? So we have war is the verb. War is the verb to wear in the past tense. Let's find irregular verb. Let's see the text again. I can see there is two verbs. War and where. War is the verb to 
to wear in the past tense. Wear is the verb to be in the past tense. Well done! B. I changed the following sentence to negative. Today, people can eat fresh food. The negative sentence is Today, people cannot eat fresh food. In the past, children used to play video games. The negative sentence is In the past, children didn't use to play video games. In the past, people ate junk food. The negative sentence is In the past, people didn't eat junk food. Good job! C. I spot the mistake and write the correct passage on the answer sheet. In the past, my grandma used to grow vegetables and raise animals. She not used to buy food from the supermarket. She picks them up always from her garden. So, I can spot in the text, the mistake is use. Because it's in the past, you should add ed, used. Well done, Aya, you got it correct. There's another mistake. In the sentence, she not used to buy food is wrong because it's in the past. So the answer must be she didn't use to buy food. There's one last mistake. In the last sentence, she picks them up always is incorrect. The right answer should be she always picked them up from her garden. D. I take the correct pronunciation of the letters in the bold type. Rainya, there are letters in bold type in the following list. Some of them are pronounced and some of them are silent. Let's read them. Where, castle, answer, softly. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Give a big thumbs up. Please subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. Bye! Bye.